Hey, it's Nick. How you doing? Uh, another assembly today. Uh, we are doing a IKEA Holmsund sofa bed. So, sofa bed looks like that. As you can see, the first thing to note is that um, it can go two different ways around. Uh, the bit with the tabs sticking out is where you pull the bed out. So you need to make sure that that's going to um, uh, be coming out in the right direction for you. But it, uh, you know you can see there on the instructions. And um, so you get lots of big boxes. Um, you get a box full of covers. Uh, you get the bed, and then you get the large pieces. Now they don't come like that. I've just positioned up. So all these parts are separate. All these bits come separate. This back comes separate. That's a separate unit. Also need to make sure that you get that the right way around because that's your storage. Okay, and the first job really is to start putting your covers on because you've got a box full of covers and you won't get them on afterwards. So I'll get started with putting the covers on. So one of the things to note as you put these on is as you slide the cover on is inside, look, there's a strip of Velcro and on there, there's also a strip of Velcro. You can stretch that down until um, until it's lined up and then you can get this sagginess out and stretch them tight. You've also got Velcro down the sides as well. So pull it over tight, both sides, and then this will flatten this out, okay? Okay, so there's all the covers on. Um, took a bit longer than I thought, I have to say. I'm going to tell you that that took me an hour. Now it's always difficult because you haven't done something before. I've never done one of these before. A couple of things I would say, ooh, like here, putting this valance on the end of this. Um, I was trying to figure out what they were meaning here. Um, it's a little bit strange because I was expecting there to be some kind of cut out on the corner to help it go around the corner, but um, it doesn't and it is meant to rest on the floor because obviously when you've got your feet on it will need to be longer And so you can see you get the the roundy bit there Which I show you there and Then you just pull it along make sure it fits on the corner and go go around to there um, Stretching these covers on if you look at them when they're on I mean this could do with a bit of an iron really it does say iron it before if you want to um, pulling these on and getting them onto the Velcro um, it's quite a struggle and it's quite funny because one of the things I noticed in the instructions was that um, a lot of these things say uh, it's for two people to do but of course there's only me um, but it is good you know show, shows you which piece you fit in shows you which way up you've got it just be careful when you move on to the next bit that's what you're doing Explains it all. Very good. But don't miss that bit there. You've got to flip it over completely before you fit the balance. Okay. thing I always like to do just makes life a little bit simpler. Some packets, there's a lot more than this in. But I just like to grab all the pieces out the bag and put them together. Because now I want that. I can just grab two of those and the instructions say put one in there you can see they're equal length put one in there and one in there and that means that's how the back and the side fit together so when you open up the bed storage base you'll also see that these covers also have velcro all the way around so you can stretch the top nice and tight so the next thing is to get four of those, four of those, screw that on the top of there, okay, and lift up the lid, whatever you do, don't stand inside, and you can see what we've got to do is get the bolts in, it would appear that it's two in the side and two in the back, so those holes are there, I'm going to line up with that hole there. Don't get confused with those. They will be if you built the bed the other way round. Okay, let's see the others up there. Another little tip I would just say is that when you're putting these in the side, 
is don't put one in and tighten it up because then you've got no flexibility when you're doing the others. Okay, so put them in and yes, do them a couple of turns, but you might also find that like, oh, I don't think you can see in that. I can't put the light on. I noticed that the hole's not exactly lined up. And if you've tightened everything up already, you'll never get it lined up. So just the, loose, you leave them loose until you've got them all in and then tighten them up. Okay, so they're in. I think my tip there would be to make sure that you've got this as tight up against there as you can. As tight into that back as you can, as you're going to struggle to line them up. But once you get them going, um, you'll be fine. The thing is to fit these brackets. The thing to notice with these is that you've got two holes and two slots. And they go there and there. Okay. And it's the holes that go in and the slots that stick out. And you just need two of the short thread bolts. Oh, I can see why this is a two person job. So the next thing is to um, roll it over onto its back. And you roll it over. And as you can see, my person is a chair. Leave that out. And you take the thing, put the springs in. And you hook it over there. Okay, now same thing again. We've got the ones that we screwed the tops on for fixing this to there, one there, one there. And then we've got four of the shorter ones which fit that into there. Okay. Tip on this bit that we were just talking about would be to tighten those up first and then put these in because as you tighten those up, those holes come into line. Because before they were tight, I couldn't quite see them to make it easier to get the side ones in. So next bit is to put the end on. So those big pins like we did on the other side, they just slot in, okay. And we've got holes in the side of this, which are gonna line up with these, okay, and we use the type that, remember you had to screw the top on yourself and there'll be the ones that go sideways into it. You'd think when you look at the picture that those two big pins that you put in the side would be really easy just to slide it on. But I can tell you, you probably need two people because you have to pick up the base a few millimetres to get the holes to line up in that. It's quite difficult when you're on your own. It doesn't literally just slide on, okay? Once you've got it on, a bit of jiggering around and you can get your bolts in then. Okay, next thing is to put these hooks on um, and just note that it's the ones with the funny little Allen key top. There are two lots of screws and there are only four of these. Okay, and the marks where they go are quite difficult to see, but you can see there that one. And then when you go over here, they are there. Nice easy bit. Seven feet into the big holes. So the bed, turn it over. You've got your wheels. And obviously where the holes are, put those on there. And you'll only have one lot of screws Bracket. left. That goes there in those holes. It's saying make sure that the bar is pointing outwards. So once you've got your wheels on, you can turn it upside down. And as you see here, it's showing that you have to, as you slide it in, you tip up the front so that when you lower it and pull it back, it goes behind the hooks. And then it ends up like that. Ooh, can't fit it in the picture, it's big. Okay. You can see your leading tabs out. And that enables you to oh, pull the tabs, pull the bed up and lay it flat. Okay, hope that was helpful. Took a bit longer than I thought, but it was a two-man job. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys, and I'll see you again soon.